All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Timmy, and you're watching Rudy's Emporium. And today, we are continuing. We are down to 4,317 Throne of Eldraine Collector's Booster Boxes. I have taken out four Home Equity lines of credit, maxed out 17 credit cards, and I work eight days a week at the Party Pack drive through just to make these videos possible for my loving Reach Around patrons. Justin, Justin J, also known as JJ, also known as... Not Rudy. Good luck, sir. Well, everybody, I am finally starting to understand the kind of the order of these things, the value, kind of what's hat. Well, not the value. Nobody does. We gotta see how the market absorbs and reacts to that. But I'm finally understanding the pack order, kind of how all this is kind of unfolding and going. So we got our nice, beautiful, creepy chick back here to say, "You feel lucky? Well, you do, you, Justin." So uh, here we go, folks. Um, so again. Like I said, we are now down below 5,000 booster boxes of the collector stuff left. So, um, home stretch, everybody. Good luck, Justin. You're going to need it. All right, everybody. Now that we got the feel of it, we got our one, two, three, four. We got our five foil commons, six uncommon, uncommon, and our one nice. I know people are getting mad because it's called a fairy tale. And it's called the Showcase Storytime Storybook Showcase. Well, I'm called Fairy Tale. Nice little one fairy tale uncommon border. And of course, last but not least, one uncommon. And we got our triple one, two, three. We got a common and two uncommons of the nice non foil showcase. Boom! Commander Brawl alternate Rudy Secret Planeswalker deck. We did have a mythic. Um, that's pretty cool. That's a nice one for that slot. So for the non foil full art box topper, knockoff box topper, not foil slot, we got uh, Rudy the Dwarf. Call me that middle school. And we got ourselves a foil rare of the giant killer, and of course, my favorite gorgeous human token, because she's like, you know why I have that look on my face? Because you overspent and I have all your money. That's why I have a bunch of chickens running around. Are you hungry? Okay. All right, so that is pack number one. Uh, kind of a smooth little start there. It, what's interesting is it's like you can tell the premium in Wizard's Eyes is based around how many opportunities you, opportunities you have to get a fiery card. So we got our first nice little gorgeous carver there for the common storybook. And we are looking at, we got an uncommon. Whew, love it. All right, so this one we had a double. Very nice. Into the triple common. Common, and we got the triple common of the storybook. And we have our Bizarro non-available card, Taste of Death. Another rare. That's another uh, nice alternative rare. We got some Hush Money over here. Nice, beautiful. And we are looking at the good old Rudy's portfolio from his art class and the boar. So, so far, um, I'm, I'm going to call those kind of blah packs. We know uh, nothing exotic so far. I'm thinking total value of each one of those packs is probably going to be about 15, 20 bucks worth of cards. And again, that is based on absolutely no information, no evidence, and because none of the pricing is accurate this early. Boom! Oak Ham Rudy the Ranger. Uncommon, beautiful storybook. So we got one in that one, and we got Rudy's giant nasty feet. And by the way, that is a rare. So we did, ooh, we got the Rimrock Knight there. So we had, this time we had the two rares. I'm sorry. We did have one rare and two com. Boom! The good old Command Tower. And we got nice stolen by the Fey. Beautiful fairies. Non-foil, and boom, we have our very first extended art box topper, Rudy Topper, reach around with the stirring wild wood. This is the return of the wild speaker and Rudy the Dwarf crawling through your cave. All right, not bad. As you can see, I'm finally getting the hang of it. These are still my favorite. I, I know it's goofy, but those are still my favorite. One nice hit there. And um, is it just going to be one? Oh, we have a double again. We had a nice double fairy tale border hit. And we are looking at the Rimrock Common. We're curious. And so we got a triple common on the non foils. Another shit. Wow, really? All of our uh, non rando slot there is. Boy, we're getting a bunch of rares. All right, Piper of the Swarm for the non-foil, and boom, the Fires of Invention, and Rudy the Goat. Not bad, not bad. So that is a two of our full art, foily box topper, both rares, no mythics. That is where we are so far. All right, here we go. Anything? Uh oh, we're we gonna have a slot with no fairy tale frames. Uh, no fairy tale frames in that pack. Boom, mythic on the non-foil though, and then on. So this was nice. We did hit a mythic in that slot. That is the coolest looking thing, man. Isn't that wild? Call it what you want, folks. And another Mythic. So we're at two Mythics. Kenrith. We got old King of Rudy Returns. And we got ourselves the Lord of a nice little rare extended. And a third. Wow, that was a really good pack, everybody. 
So we had a full art box topper foil, a mythic, a mythic, and a rare. That was a fantastic, and Rudy the Bear, of course. That was a really, really nice pack opening there, everybody. And there, boom, Tactician for our, that's probably my favorite storybook common frame. That's probably my creepiest one that just freaks me out. All right, and very angry child. All right, so we got one. We got the uncommon, uncommon, and common are our triple basics. And we had Tomb of Lead. Wow, really? Another rare in that slot? Wow, a lot luckier. And a Mythic Questing Beast non-foil. And wow, holy crap. We are getting just whole Emery Lurker full art foil box time. Wow. Okay. I'm finally getting the vibe. It took me, this is uh, our, was this, the third video? So it took me a couple of videos to really get the feel of this. Boom, Queen of Ice for our first hit. And let's see here. It does kind of have a sports card feel. Doesn't everybody? Aren't you guys getting that feel? And beautiful 3% ladies. Aren't you getting the feel like sports card vibe of this? By the way, uh, no, uh, just one, I'm sorry, just one. And another rare, giant killer rare. And uh, two commons in the box. And non-foil. And the Fink. Yeah, just an uncommon basic, but crazy ability for the oomph. Sorry, people said I got, they got mad. I didn't do the oomph. And another full art because it's in every pack. Wildborn, non-foil, and a stolen by the Fae, regular rare. So, it does have a sports card feel, though. Like, I feel like I'm cracking sports card packs because of the volatility and the hits. All right, we got our first Acolyte. Nice fairy tale. And we've got, is it just one? Spinning wheel, steel claw. Nope, we up. Oh, yep, just one on that one. Uncommon, uncommon. So, uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. For them, triple basics. And another rare, Oko's. We got a Hospitality one. Another, wow. This slot on this box is probably the best one I've seen. And a beautiful, beautiful feat. Gorgeous card. And we've got ourselves a Star Wars Linden with the fancy outfit. Regular foil rare. Alright, so this particular opening video feels a lot stronger. Because we've been, I don't know, it, it feel, at least, some, oh, there's our first one. Can't tell yet. I'm still, we don't know what the values of the cards are. That's, that's really, and here we go. Reaper, and Rose, and Unicorn for the triple basics. Boom! Look at that. Rowan looking all sharp. A little Red Riding Hood look. Another Mythic, and a nice Full Art Knight with a, and wow. Another fantastic pack. Holy crap. Foil Mythic Ember. Wow, that is nice. With a Full Art Knight. With, so that was a double Mythic. Mythic and Foil Mythic pack. Wow, that was nice. That was a really, dude. Justin, not bad, man. Nice opening here. All right, and, oh, wow, really? Oh, no. No fairy tale frames in the common, uncommon slot. Murderous Rider, probably the coolest piece of art in this set. We did get a, oh, a double rare. Wow. Double rare in that slot. That's really cool. And Banish into Fable for the... Wow, another real. So we're at three rare... Wow. Three rares in this pack, everybody. Oh, and a Mythic. Our Harmonious Akon. Non-foil and a foil. Wow. So three rares, a foil rare, and a full art Mythic in this pack. <laughs> Woo! When they said they loaded these, I tell you what. They weren't, they weren't kidding around, man. Tree Folk for the first fancy frame. Oh, nice little op there. Foil op is nice. Oh, what second? Oh, that's nice. God, it's so nice. Curious pair. So we got the double there. And uh, that's it. So we got two fairy tale frames. We got the common, common, common. Comma, 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 comma. I will never do that again. Terrible, terrible basic common card. Absolute slap in the middle nut. Folio right there. And the uh, first of the Lachlan. And so that one was more of a weak box. Nothing too exotic on that particular opening. All right, here we go. Ah, right, we did get a smitten. There's our first one. That is a wild. Look at that. Art is a home run in this set, everybody. In my personal opinion of just being in Magic for like, I don't know, ever, the art has a very nice throwback creative feel. I'm very, very happy with the art in this set. All right, Hydra Rare, a uh, turtle with a bunch of heads. That's not creepy at all. And we got a nice full art castle. Love the land cycle. Oh, and a full art, really? Wow, and a lock. Wow, a Vantress and we got two different of the fancy lands. One of the foil, one of the full arms. All right, so that's it. We're going to go ahead and get set up here, Justin, for box number two today. And uh, not bad. Not a bad video today, everybody. Nice and, uh, nice and interesting, shall we say. I think so. 
All right, let's see if we do better than the first one. Let's see if we do the same. So actually, you know what? How many? How many actually in that box? That's what I've been tracking. So this one was, wow. So one, two, three. So this one was four full art foil rare. So in other words, four kind of box topper foil full art extendeds. Okay, so that one had four, but no mythic ones. All right, here we go. Rimrock for the gorgeous fairy tale. All right, uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. All right, we got a rare murderous. And that's it. We had one rare in that slot. And another rare for the Knight's Charge for the non-available card. Nice Sorceress. And boom. Oh my goodness. Foil Mythic. Great Henge. Wow. And yeah, you better salute that bad boy and have a feast. Excellent. Excellent pack one start on this one today. Holy smokes. That was a nice start, everybody. Whew. Okay. Uncommon. Uncommon. And nothing in the first uh, common uncommon slots. And for our third basic cards. And we did another rare in the rando slot. Rowan's. And of course, full art. Castle, not bad. And a Sundering Stroke foil rare. Alright, so that is, see, that would be a pack that you would consider a bad pack. Because you didn't really have a full art exotic. You didn't have any of the alternate art frames. And you see what I'm saying? That's kind of how I look at it. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I feel is considered kind of a miss on a pack. Lonesome Unicorn. Nice little gorgeous there on the frame. And that's it. Just one on that slot. Uncommon, uncommon, common. Triple on there. And what do you guys think of these? Like getting these commander style brawl type planeswalker deck. That, that's interesting that these are in these. I didn't think you could get these type of cards in here. That's really That really surprised me. Black Lance for the full art and... The good old Gadwick over here. And of course, I'm good looking and I got your money. It's okay. It's okay. We're having a good time, folks. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We got common. Alright, first one. Fairy Guide Mother is our nice border. And ooh, and a soul a full mire knight for a nice uncommon. That was a double tap one. That's nice to see. I think it's the first one we've had all video. And we got the common, common, common. We got the triple of the non-foil fairy tales. Nice rare again, Fairy Formation. And we hit the Lockmere Serpent. That is one I have not seen. Okay, and Fires of Invention, normal. And what is this creepy? Dude, that is the creepiest looking dude. I would not take anything in liquid form from him on a date. I'm just going to put my advice out there to everybody. That dude's just, that something's not right. I'm getting, I'm getting the creep vibe. Alright, we got the Acolyte for the first one. And let's see here. Anything else in the first slot? Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Nope. Alright, we got a nice Merchant, Fairy, and Sword for our triple non-foil. And, oh, God, the slap in the balls card of the flipping Windscard. You better make up for it, everybody. Opportunistic and a Love Struck Beast. Wow, we did not make up for that. That was a Rudy the Rat Pack, man. That was a terrible Rat Pack. Uh, that's this is a better start right out of the gate Reaper of Night. I love those and here we go witching draw bridges Let's see. We, oh uncommon Embrith shield breaker very nice. We had two to start the pack off there All right, let's see what we got here Here we go, and we got the triple one two three four nothing crazy and right into the thorn mammoth We did get a rare there outlaws. We did get a mythic and a fabled passage. Oh, not full art extended though Man, the full art, these decked out, that's where it's at, man. There is some heavy-duty money on the full art extended fancy. Boy, it's, it's, this is an interesting experience, everybody. I, I'm really, I have no idea how this crap's going to age, man. Animating Fairy, we did get one. A lot of people are negative right now. I truly just don't know. Shepherd, and there you go, nothing in the wild. And a common, a compl terrible random slot card. Mirror Maid Rare and a Giant Killer. And the Knight. Again, I consider that a weak pack. The only thing good, the rare full art ones there. So that's, uh, that was a nice uh, alternate full art. Not full art, it's fairy tale frame. I can, God, there's so many. Okay, Rimrock. All right, let's see what we got here. Turn into a pumpkin. Boop. Glass Casket. All right, we did get the Fey. So we did get a rare in that slot. That's the first time we've had that all box here on this today's video. Alright, we did get another rare, Silverwing, 
And we have a nice happily ever after full art and a nice foil alternate framed Crusher Giant. A lot of variants, everybody. Like I said, my only caution just makes me nervous if this is going to be a new thing or trend because it just kind of feels like the sports card world, everybody. Smitten. A lot of variants right here. So here we go, and that's it. Just one alternate. We got a nice uncommon, common, common for the triple non-foil. And oh, mythic artful provocateur. Yeah, she is definitely creepy provocateur. All right, so that was a nice little. Was that a brawl? And a nice full art castle. Oh, now this is a pack. Wow, this is a pack, everybody. That's what we're talking. See, these are the moments when you open one pack and you're just like, are you kidding me? Like, the value of this one, this is the big daddies. These full art foil versions, these are the big daddies. And then you factor that and you get something like this, is non-foil full art. Then you get like a Brawl Mythic with the, I mean, that is, that is a home run pack. Those are the packs that are worth every penny of the $2 type card or $30 a booster pack. Those are the big money ones. There's our first one. Uncommon, uncommon. So we only had one. We have a nice common, common, common. Triple non-foils. All right. And a rare. Chittering Witch. Ooh, I haven't seen you yet. Escape to the Wild. That's really neat. I have not seen that card. Oh, and a Doom Foretold. Again, wow. See, another good pack. And yeah, of course, you would show up saying, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Stop showing off. Doom Foretold. All right. That was a great one. Man, so I'm starting to learn the volatility here. There's definitely a gamble if you're only opening like a pack or two or you just get one buy a box pack promo type thing. Um, yeah, there's definitely major volatility to doing that versus opening like a whole box of this because of the vault, the, the risk and the swings. We got a bone crusher, so we did get a rare here. We got one rare in the non foil slot, a second rare, Mace of the Valiant. Wow, we haven't gotten that in this opening. All right, a third rare, the Widen, and a Doom Foretold fourth rare foil. So again, the only difference in this pack is that this was the full art version. That would have been a great one. So we had one, two, we had a triple, we had four rares across all the slots. Uh, the only thing lacking on that one is if, if the end, the grand finale would have been a full art foil. That would be the only difference there. So I'm starting to get a better idea and understanding of this. It's definitely been taking me a few videos. And wow, no alternate art, or no alternate foiling on the, God, I can't even talk. Alternate frame. Oh, no alternate frames. A Thornwood is our random card. Terrible. A Gilded Goose and a Black Lance Paris. See, terrible. So then you get a pack like that. No alternate frames. No rares. A Thornwood garbage. You see my point? And then no kind of box topper style. So that's kind of a bad pack to end it on. But it's very interesting to see the difference between pack to pack. And uh, that's why Evil Rudy's got red eyes. You got to be careful of those red eyes. You really got to be careful of those red eyes. So I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. My name is Rudy, and again, thank you for watching. And uh, I don't know. Be careful, everybody. My concern is just that in the next 30, 60, 90 days, when these actual sealed boxes are just, there's just no more entering the market, and people keep opening these and selling them or moving them, and you don't have new supply coming, my number one concern is while a bunch of the Timmies are running around screaming the sky is falling, they're going to tank down to 100 bucks and go to zero. And I'm, I'm very concerned about the lack of supply on this because no matter what people say, they're very unique and there are chances to get cards that you can't get in anywhere else, I guess. That is at least what I'm understanding here. And pretty soon next week we'll start doing regular booster box openings. It'll be interesting to compare and really see the difference in the pools and what's going on. Um, but be very cautious for a lot of people out there. That keep asking me and sending me and the patrons out there that keep sending me. I have a lot of patrons sending messages about the conversation of Rudy. I really want to sit on these. I want to invest in these. I want to collect these boxes. And I'm waiting for the price to come down because everyone says the price is crashing. I I I don't know, man. Look, I've been watching the eBay pricing. All I'm seeing is supply dwindling and dwindling, and I'm not seeing the prices move much at all. So I don't know what's gonna happen. This is definitely a wild card with no track record, no history. Uh, that's all I got for now. Otherwise, uh, you guys have a fantastic day. And again, as always, thank you for watching.